Hi everyone, welcome to 2C4D Games. I am T. Lindsay B. Call me T or call me Lindsay. 2C4D means we are too chill for debating games. We are just here to have fun. And I have another Skyrim load order for you for Xbox. And this I call the Gamer Poly Bundle Edition. I'll be showcasing many of their performance friendly mods here. Thank you, Gamer Polly, for being helpful and encouraging in the comments. Thank you to all the supportive subscribers and amazing mod creators that inspired me to make this channel. I now have 500 subs as I make this video. Let us remember this day. Anyway, so here's an extra special production for Xbox One users that want optimal performance and a relatively complete overhaul of vanilla. This list has mods touching almost every superficial aspect of the game, but still leaves plenty of room for your favorite roleplay mods. I made this simple load order to use as a base to build on for any system, but primarily Xbox One. Thank you Gamer Polly for creating the awesome bundle mods. 20% or more of this list is your creations and ports. Show Gamer Polly some love and let's get into it. As always, our load orders start with our master files, which when we download them, they automatically go to the top of our load order. We have USSCP or the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Many of the mods that I use require USSCP. Next, we have Reforging to the Masses. This adds hundreds of vanilla friendly weapons to the game that we can craft. Enemies will have them, and they will also be in loot chests. Vanilla Plus 5.1.1 is going to be, well, actually, it's going to do a number of different things as far as quest alterations, bug fixes and some quality of life tweaks. If you look in the description, there are a long list of changes and adjustments to combat, movement mechanics, encounter zones, level lists, lock picking, pickpocket, sneaking, speech craft, smithing, vampirism and lycanthropy traits, quest alterations, like I said, updates to um, player updates, and statistical things and changes to enemies and a whole bunch of other things for only 3.89 megabytes just making the vanilla game feel a little fresher for our ui our menu and hud we're going with paper style interface this is going to give us new map menu and markers new icons new cursor new skills menu new quest journal new main menu and music for the main menu, might I add new dialogue menus, new HUD, and so much more. And because the font is in cursive, it might be hard for some people to read at first glance. At least it is a little annoying for me. I've added Vulture font overhaul. The print is now going to look as it does on the screen right now. Audio SFX overhaul is going to give us almost 2,000 new reworked sounds and special effects including daedra voices i've added the parthenax dilemma so that we can bypass the quest to kill parthenax late in the blades mission as part of the main quest line wearable lanterns will let us craft lanterns to wear to keep our hands free for our weapons we can also craft these lanterns for our followers to wear in dark places like on dark nights and dark dungeons Cloaks, face masks, and all sorts is a bundle mod by Gamer Polly. And this is going to allow us to craft cloaks and capes, goggles, face masks, bandanas, blindfolds, usable lanterns that are carried, as well as pouches and bags. Thank you, Gamer Polly. We also have Kellen Armor Set by Gamer Polly. This will give us a craftable armor set. I've chosen the blue tunic. There are other color options as well. 
and it's actually really nice try to get some footage for you to see my my player character wearing it it's actually really cool rich merchants of skyrim will give 10,000 gold to all the merchants of skyrim for you to trade with rewarding reading will turn all the vanilla books in the game into skill books unlimited rings and amulets will make it so that you can wear unlimited rings and amulets and get the enchantments from them npc clothes changer and maintainer also known as the ring of fashion designer is a ring that you will have at the start of the game that when you put it on you will be able to go into the inventories of any npc you will be able to change their default clothing remove their clothing take anything you want from their inventory without penalty and without the need for pickpocketing skills perks and magic mega bundle ordinator version is another huge mega bundle from gamer poly this one includes ordinator which gives us over 460 perks new perks that add to our perk tree this also includes 50 percent more perk points so we get an extra perk point every time we level up and it has some old school magic bundles that are must-haves if you role play as a mage including Apocalypse and Odin, a, num a number of other uh, magic bundles which are in the description. And if you prefer the Valkyrie version over Ordinator, it is out there. So just look up Gamer Poly and see all the awesome bundle mods they have available and choose what you prefer. To supplement that, I'm going with Summer Mist Enchantments of Skyrim, which gives us 120 new enchantments that we can add to weapons and armor. Rebalance level list will automatically make it. So from the very start of the game at level one, if you finish a dungeon, kill a boss, and when you get to the dragons, you are going to get a huge haul of loot that is substantially higher than your level. Polly's Art 2 Remix is the first of our SMEM mods or static mesh improvement mods. This is by none other than, you guessed it, Gamer Polly. Static mesh improvement mods improve objects in the world, making them a higher resolution. They look nicer and more realistic, everything from food to furniture and carriages and barrels and more. And if you want to know what, what all this bundle encompasses, please see the description. Also, we have Gamer Polly's Very Attractive Skyrim all-in-one optimized and enhanced this is going to greatly improve the architecture of the world bridges and our landscapes like roads dirt mountains snow including our caves mines and dungeons are all upscaled and animated forge water i just need this for i don't know immersive purposes this makes the forge water uh, look like actual liquid and flow and move and not look like solid black construction paper and for our road signs we're going to use El Sopa hand HD hand painted road signs this is going to make our road signs really colorful and look handcrafted and last we're going to have covered carriages here which is going to add covers to all of the carriages in the world. And that also helps for immersion as some should be covered in certain regions and in certain weather. JK Skyrim All-in-One is going to improve the exteriors of all of the holds in some of the small towns and settlements. And to supplement that, we have the Great City of Solitude, which is going to further uh, expand the capital city of solitude but down to their docks where there will be more ships more buildings merchants and npcs and better tell mithrin is going to improve the settlement of tell mithrin in solstheim it's going to expand what was just a few homes into a small town with farms and new npcs and guards and other things to see Crusader, a Dawnguar bundle, is going to fully overhaul our Dawnguar faction. They're going to get some new architecture for the interiors and exteriors of their castle. 
there are going to be new weapons, new armor, and uh, new dialogue and other things. And for our weather, we have Mythical Wonders optimized for Xbox. And this weather bundle comes from Gamer Poly. There's actually a 90 megabyte version of this as well, which has 2K and 4K resolution. But I thought this was best to start at the bottom, at least for older consoles. Try out some of the other weather bundles they have available just to try them out for your system and see how they play. But this is very similar to the 90 megabyte one with the exception of the resolution. And for interior lighting, we have incandescent, a low cost lighting overhaul by Gamera Poly. This incorporates the luminosity lighting overhaul, the cathedral concept, immersive spell effects, darkened dungeons, and some standard lighting templates. We have VAE or visual animated enchantments. All of our enchanted weapons will have a unique glow based on the enchantment and it will be vibrant. RAS shaders and effects is going to make it so that we can see frost effects and water effects on our body and that of NPCs as well. Just blood, dirt and blood light is one of the smallest blood mods out there and it's quite effective for what it does and it's very performance friendly. You're gonna get a little dirty and a little bloody, just enough you know, to maintain some immersion in combat and so will the NPCs. JK's interiors all in one are going to beautify and it's gonna beautify the decor of many of the major interiors around Skyrim. Carriage stops of, oh wait, and I also should say, you got to see the College of Winterhold. JK's version, it's awesome. I've added carriage stops of Skyrim, which is going to add these benches all throughout Skyrim that will allow you to fast travel if you'd like to locations that you won't be able to fast travel to right off the bat, especially by carriage, by standard carriage. We have amazing follower tweaks. AFT will allow you to have a maximum of five followers with you. You will also be able to manage your followers both with you and those that are not in your party. You will be able to summon them. It will give you, you will be able to adjust their combat and a number of other things that they do, even the types of dialogue and communication you have with them. You will be able to set their player homes with AFT, I believe, yes. And if you use the power, um, the make follower power that comes with this, you will pretty much be able to make any NPC, for the most part, a follower. Violin to Kill Move mod is going to be your camera controls for vats and decapitations. Lawless Light is going to improve bandits making them a lot more competitive in combat. It's also going to create factions for bandits. They're going to have new perks and stats. This is just a small vari variant of the main Lawless, which is like a few hundred megabytes. So at least you kind of get a taste of it, I guess. <laughs> Extended Encounters is one of my personal favorite mods for adding NPCs into the world. See mercenaries out in the world during their job, adventurers traveling into dungeons, guards clearing bandit camps, and so on. And there will also be new visitors to settlements, towns, and cities from time to time. NPCs may also deviate from their regular routines to visit different locations. Sir Lister the Drunk Warrior from Gamer Polly. This is going to add a follower to Riverwood. 
He's going to be behind the sawmill pretty much 24 hours a day, waiting to assist you on your adventures. It's a pretty cool guy, just a guy with a really awesome great sword. And also by Gamer Polly is Real Wildlife Skyrim. This mod is going to add over 490 new variants of natural wildlife with revised AI and wildlife faction interaction. There will be 16 new lore friendly diseases, 45 new ingredients, 21 new foods, and 21 new recipes, and some retextured animal species. For our skin, we're going to go with Divine Skins and Bodies for Men and Women. This includes UNP style female meshes for body, feet, and hands, and male meshes as well for the same things. The textures are for human, females, and males, merfolk, argonians, khajiit, and vampires. For more details, please see the description. This is very Xbox One friendly. And so is Divine People of Skyrim Celestial, made for Xbox One users. This is pretty much your all-in-one NPC overhaul, as well as a number of features for your player character. This redesigns over 300 NPCs, has 60 plus lore friendly hairs, so you don't really need a hair pack with this because those 60 plus hairs are KS hairdos. And it has vanilla hair retexture. It adds the beards mod, so you get some new beards to choose from for your player creation, as well as for NPCs. There's all new female and male brows, new hair colors, new makeup colors, Argonian skins, Khajiit now have new fur colors. Merfolk can have human skin tones. Children look like children. NPCs are divinely dressed according to the description. And this also includes your eye mod as well, divine eyes. The only mod I know to safely um, overwrite this without a patch is natural eyes. But if you wanted to use Eyes of Beauty, be sure to use the, the Divine Patch for it. And for our skeleton or ragdoll effects, we are using XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special. And for our animations, which are going to be our idle animations and combat animations, I have Dar Smooth animations, which are mostly third party animations and idols and Gritty Animations Requiem, which we're using for combat. And to fix the horrible walking mechanics in Gritty, we have 360 Walk and Run Standalone. Getting into weapons and armor, we're starting with a Midian Born Book of Silence. This is kind of like a vanilla plus plus for armor and weapons in the game as far as retexturing them. You're going to get some kind of a fresh look on vanilla pretty much it's close to vanilla nothing too custom with the looks but just better than vanilla and better resolution for armor and weapons as well as some unique items and you're going to get some new retextures of creatures in the world such as draugr skeletons falmer charis and spriggans and this includes dlc armors as well believable weapons is a lot like lean wolves it's going to reshape the weapons making them uh, slimmer, trimmer, more practical, more realistic looking. Private Eyes Heavy Armory is going to add over 100 new weapons to Skyrim, including spears, short swords, quarter stabs, mauls, hatchets, and clubs. For clothing, we're using elaborately opulent textiles, a personal favorite of mine, and they're actually upscaled to 2 and 4K. Sons of Skyrim 
is going to replace these are nord war armor replacements for the storm cloaks and for all of the guards and this bundle is brought to us by guess you got it gamer polly thank you for making this for us definitely check it out it's huge changes for only 200 megabytes but we can't leave out the legion my personal pick for imperial armor is perfect legionnaire the next two environment mods come from gamer polly starting with starting with polly's lust forest of skyrim this is very minimalistic as far as resolution but if you would like to go in a different direction definitely check out some of the mini tree and grass options that gamer poly has this is the one i'm choosing to be like the maximum most performance friendly version but definitely try some other options if you would like to upgrade see what works best for your system and gameplay we also have Polly's unique grasslands of Skyrim. So we get some really nice grass throughout the world in addition to some 3D flora. And I'm gonna use landscape fixes for grass mods just to kind of keep the roads clear, eliminate any excess grass and overgrowth. Getting rid of that also helps with performance as well. For our map, we're using a clear map of Skyrim and other worlds. This improves the map's weather to enhance visibility and adds the missing world maps of Soul Cairn, Forgotten Vale, Black Reach, Sovngarde, and Skuldolphin. As always, I have alternate start, live another life, because when you're running this many mods, you need alternate start to skip the opening sequence if you try to run all of these mods and play through the vanilla start, you're probably going to crash in the, the game's gonna crash in the Helgen Caves or when you're exiting and you're gonna be really frustrated. Just to be, play it safe, run alternate start pretty much when you're running any more than like 10 mods. I highly recommend you do it. Relationship dialogue overhaul is going to Give us over 5,000 fully voiced lines of dialogue, new dialogue for NPCs. And that requires the RDO AFT patch for amazing follower tweaks. Immersive Citizens AI overhaul is going to improve the actions and behaviors of NPCs, kind of giving them a mind of their own. They move around more naturally, have more interactions in the world. And that needs to go below alternate start. And we have more tavern idols. This needs to go below immersive citizens. This is just going to put more markers in taverns where NPCs can move around and do like different activities. Just kind of giving them more actions and just more natural behavior in the taverns for immersion. It's pretty cool. We have better interiors, JK's interior compatible version. This is going to actually redecorate and rearrange a lot of the taverns in the world that JK's does not. It's going to improve them vastly with clutter and furniture. And now every tavern, even in the small settlements, are going to look completely different from each other. Whereas in vanilla, they all look like exactly the same inside as far as layout. And we need JK's Interiors All-in-One Immersive Citizens Patch. If you don't and you're running Immersive Citizens with this, then JK's Interiors are just going to look an absolute mess. So definitely run the patch. And last but not least, we have Gamer Polly's Very Attractive Water and Effects. And this is a bundle which includes smooth water texture, blended shorelines, no more jagged water edges, cathedral water overhaul with bug fixes, Illinotsa realistic water transparency, and it has spray drops, mist, ripples, and steam. For more information, see the description and check out all the other amazing mods 
out there by game or poly. There's too many to choose from. So that's it everybody. Thanks for watching the video through to the end. And I didn't forget about all the great recommendations and requests that I've gotten in the comment section. I've screenshot them and I'm getting to them. I'm going to be doing some themed load orders uh, as well as some comparison videos and other showcases for mods in the very near future. I've got the queue backed up and I am working on these as we speak. So until next time, stay tuned, stay chill. Happy gaming, everybody.